Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic for all aspiring app developers out there. In this video, we'll be discussing a comprehensive roadmap to learn Flutter, taking you from a beginner to an advanced level. Whether you're new to programming or have some experience, this roadmap will guide you on your journey to becoming a proficient Flutter developer. So, let's get started. Getting started with Flutter. Before diving into Flutter, let's talk about the prerequisites. Familiarity with any programming language will be helpful but don't worry if you're an absolute beginner. Flutter is beginner-friendly too. Install Flutter and Dart SDK, head over to the official Flutter website and follow the installation instructions for your operating system. This will set up the necessary tools to start building Flutter apps. Set up your development environment, choose an IDE, integrated development environment, like Android Studio or Visual Studio Code. Configure Flutter and Dart plugins for a better development experience. Understanding Dart Dart is the programming language used by Flutter. It's essential to have a good grasp of Dart since you'll be using it to build your Flutter apps. Learn Dart's basic syntax and data types, start with variables, data types, int, double, string, etc., and basic arithmetic operations. Understand how to declare and use functions. Grasp functions and object-oriented programming in Dart, learn about functions, methods, classes, and objects. Understand the principles of encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Flutter widgets. Now, let's talk about Flutter widgets. Widgets are the building blocks of Flutter apps. Introduction to Flutter widgets, understand the concept of widgets, their role in building UI, and the widget tree hierarchy. Stateless and stateful widgets, differentiate between stateless and stateful widgets. Learn how to use them effectively for creating static and dynamic UI components. Composing widgets and handling user interactions, Practice creating complex UIs by combining multiple widgets. Learn to handle user interactions like button clicks and form submissions. Exploring UI design in Flutter. Flutter provides a rich set of tools to design beautiful and responsive user interfaces. Working with layouts and themes, explore various layout widgets like row, column, and stack to structure your app's UI. Customize app themes for a consistent and appealing look. Creating custom widgets, learn how to create reusable and customizable widgets to simplify UI development. Utilizing Flutter's Hot Reload feature, take advantage of Flutter's Hot Reload feature to see instant changes in your UI as you code. Navigation and routing. Once you're comfortable with building UIs, it's time to learn about navigation and routing. Navigating between screens, understand how to navigate between different screens using the navigator widget and routes. Passing data between screens, learn techniques to pass data between screens using constructors or root arguments. Effective route management, implement nested navigation and named routes for better app structure and navigation. State management. As your app grows, you'll need to handle more complex state management. Different state management techniques, explore popular state management patterns like Provider, Block, MobX, or RiverPod. Managing app state for complex applications, learn how to manage and share states between different screens and widgets. Networking and APIs. Most real-world apps interact with APIs to fetch and send data. Making API calls using HTTP or DO packages, Learn how to make HTTP requests to RESTful APIs and handle responses. Understanding RESTful APIs and error handling, get familiar with RESTful API concepts like endpoints, request methods, and error handling. Database integration. Many apps require local data storage. Integrating databases, SQLite, Firebase, into Flutter, Learn how to integrate local databases to store data locally on the device. Storing, retrieving, and updating data locally, practice CRUD, create, read, update, delete, operations with local databases. 
Testing and Debugging Bugs are inevitable, but you can be a bug squashing expert. Testing your Flutter app, write unit tests and widget tests to ensure the correctness of your app's functionality. Using debugging tools effectively, learn how to use Flutter's debugging tools like DevTools to identify and fix issues efficiently. Performance Optimization A well-performing app is a joy to use. Optimizing app performance for speed and efficiency, implement performance optimization techniques like lazy loading, code splitting, and asynchronous operations. Techniques to reduce widget rebuilds, learn to minimize widget rebuilds for better app performance. Congratulations! You've completed the roadmap to becoming an advanced Flutter developer. Remember, practice is key. Work on personal projects and contribute to open source projects to hone your skills. The Flutter community is vast and supportive, so don't hesitate to seek help when needed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Let us know in the comments if you have any other topics you'd like us to cover. Happy coding, and see you in the next video.